Hello guys, this is Coding Code and this is video editorial for the problem prime generator taken from Spodge. So this problem is actually a practice problem for a segmented sieve technique that we have already studied in the previous lecture from number theory series. So if you are watching this for the editorial of this problem, I would highly advise you to watch your segmented sieve lecture first because I am going to solve this problem using segmented sieve. Even though there are ways, you can, there are other ways you can solve this problem. Uh, as you can see, let me show you first. I've already solved it, uh, a kind of brute force approach where the time taken was 0 0.96 second for the same problem. And then I've solved this problem using segment receive method and the time taken is 0 0.01 second only. So the problem is we are given a range and we have to print all of the prime numbers in that range. Range can be as large as 10 part 9. But the number of elements in the range will be less than or equal to 10 part 5. So there are t test cases. Each time you will be given a range n and m and you have to print and you have to print all of the prime numbers in that range. So for example, that there are two test cases first range is 1 to 10 so these are the prime numbers in that range 2 3 5 and 7 and then another range is 3 to 5 and there are two prime numbers in the range 3 to 5 only so this is what you have to do n and m and n which are basically l and r can be as large as 10 power 9 again the number of elements in the range won't exceed 10 power 5 so as explained earlier I have I have already explained in the previous lecture of number theory series that uh, how segmented sieve algorithm works. This is 90% sieve, only 10% a little extra. As explained in the segmented sieve, for R, we have to find all of the prime numbers up to square root of R, right? R can be as large as 10 to the power 9 in the worst case. So what I'm doing, I'm generating all of the prime numbers up to 10 to the power 5. Even though square root of 10 to the power 9 is less than 10 to the power 5, but doesn't matter. I'm, I'm generating all of the prime numbers up to 10 to the power 5. So this is C if you already know it. So VI is vector of int, basically a list of integer. So this is primes. So primes will contain all of the prime numbers up to 10 to the power 5. So this is the normal C algorithm that I have already explained. PB here is pushback. I'll be giving the link uh, of this solution in the description of the video so don't worry you will be having this code with yourself now this is simple sieve and all we are doing here is generating all of the prime numbers up to 10 to the power 5 right now we have already seen how normal sieve works so not going into the details of this after generating all of the prime numbers up to 10 to the power 5 and this step we will be doing only one time there are going to be t-test cases but you don't need to generate all of the uh, prime number again and again generating one time is enough after that for each let me just get some space after e, uh, for each test cases we are reading l and r the left and the right pointers of course and then in this range the inid function actually prints all of the prime numbers in the range l to r and of course you might have guessed right in the inid function we are using or implementing uh, segmented C. So if L is equals to 1, of course 1 is not prime number so I am going to increment L. So L would be at least 2. Otherwise I have to write if else condition here. Now max n is the number of elements in the range L to R. So why we are creating an array uh, of the size of max n and initializing all of them with 0. So VI is again vector of integer and we are uh, you can consider it as an array of size max n and all of them are initialized with zero zero indicates prime number now as explained earlier for each prime number p which uh, which is less than equals to square root of r so this is for each prime number in the primes list which is less than equals to square root of r we will mark all of the multiple of p in the range l to r as non prime as explained in the previous lecture in the uh, segmented sieve lecture now we'll start from the first multiple of p in the range l to r say range is 10 to 20 okay and the first prime you get is 3 even though it would be 2 but say uh, 
say p is 3 here right so the first multiple of 3 in the range 10 to 20 is 12 how you get that of course divide l by p multiply by p so 10 by 3 into 3 is going to be oh, 9 so 9 is smaller than l of course this does not lie in the range l to r so simply increment i by p again so 9 plus 3 i would become 12 the first multiple of 3 in the range l to r so here i basically represent the first multiple of p in the range l to r after that for each multiple of p in the range l to r if i is not equals to p we are simply uh, simply we are setting i of l minus 1 to be 1 so i've already explained in the previous lecture where we have studied segmented sieve that status of uh, any integer i i will be storing at the index i minus l so basically what here we are doing for each multiple of p we are marking out all of the multiple of p which uh, all of the multiple will be marked as non prime if if that number is not prime itself right so we'll mark them as one which indicate they are composite number not prime number after that for each number from zero to max n we'll see whether it is equals to zero if it is equals to zero which means it is a prime number so we would print i plus l because at index i the status of l plus i number is stored so we will simply print l plus i and then next line so this is how you solve this problem uh, prime generator from spodge so i'll be providing you the link to the description sorry i'll be providing you the, uh, the link of submission link of the code in the description so and if you have any doubts or query of course you can ask in the uh, in the article that i've created for this course for the number theory course and the the article link i'll be also giving in the description of the video so thank you guys for watching and to the next video drops keep coding thank you